Hello and welcome to Secure Code Warrior. In this module, we'll be looking at CRLF injections. We'll explain what CRLF injection is, its causes and preventions, and some potential hazards. So, what is CRLF injection? CRLF refers to carriage return and line feed, which are used for line termination. CRLF injection takes place when a user is able to start a new line by injecting one or both of these characters. What causes CRLF injection? A user is able to inject a carriage return or line feed in a URL or HTTP parameter which is not sanitised and is therefore processed by the application. To understand CRLF injection vulnerabilities, let's look at some examples. In our first example, a web application keeps a log of URLs that were visited, along with a timestamp and the source IP. An attacker visits a page but appends a CRLF injection to the URL containing a fake log entry. The %0D is URL encoding for a carriage return, while %0A is an encoded line feed which together will be interpreted as a new line. As a result, the visited URL will be added to the log file as well as the injected entry. This will be placed on a new line due to CRLF injection. The administrator notices the weird action in the logs and starts investigating a non-existent event. In our next example, an application is available in multiple languages and makes use of a redirection to lead the user to the specified language. An attacker discovered a CRLF injection flaw in this functionality and crafts a malicious link that is sent to a victim. The victim sees the link points to the application.com domain. Without giving it a second thought, the victim clicks the link. The request results in two responses. Once the browser handles the second response, the victim will be redirected to the HTML content specified by the attacker. CRLF injection could cause several issues. The vulnerabilities allow an attacker to manipulate server-side files, so an attacker could add new lines to files such as logs. An attacker could also abuse CRLF injection to perform HTTP response splitting, which returns multiple HTTP responses to the target user and could redirect them to malicious URLs or scripts. And as a final example, a vulnerable mail form could have additional headers added to it by CRLF injection before being converted to SMTP mail, possibly allowing information leakage, email spamming or phishing attacks. To prevent CRLF injection, never trust user input. As with other injection attacks, implement application-wide filters. Properly sanitising user inputs and performing encoding on the outputs can prevent this type of attack. Remember to consider GET and POST parameters, cookies and other HTTP headers. Finally, remember to apply HTML encoding to anything sent back to the browser. Congratulations! You have now completed this module, CRLF Injection.